Welcome everybody to 40 Runs, and in this shoe review, we're gonna be taking a look at these, the brand new Saucony Dolphin Speed Run Shield. up everybody and welcome back to the channel now have you started clearing out your drawers of all your summer stuff and start putting all your winter stuff in there i keep all my winter stuff up in the loft and i have done the switch it is really depressing to go out and get all those thermals and the woolly hats and all that kind of stuff but i have done the change now what i want to know from you also are you thinking about winter running shoes is that why you're here are you looking at a pair of weatherized shoes? Now, we've done the Pegasus uh, 38 Shield video. If you've not checked, uh, seen that, check that out. Um, but I wanted to do this video so much because I absolutely love Saucony for bringing out this shoe. Okay, so what is this shoe? Well, basically, it is a weatherized version of the Endorphin Speed. Now, if you've been living in a cave, maybe in a shed, you wouldn't have known that basically I'm in love with the Saucony Endorphin Speed. Uh, two, very much along the lines of my obsession with the Glide Ride, um, the Endorphin Speed 2, I absolutely love. And they brought out a winter weatherized version. It's called Run Shield. It's on the back here. Um, now for me, I really dig winter running shoes and I appreciate they're not for everybody. Um, some of the feedback we got off the Pegasus video was that people just get the shoes wet and they go out and run in other ones, which is fine. But me personally, I like to get a weatherized pair of shoes for my winter marathon training, which we will be starting in December. And you can't believe how excited I was when I found out they were bringing out a weatherized version of the Speed. The Speed, which we have the OG here, is I think hands down the best running shoe you could buy. Doesn't matter what you are, where you are, unless you've got major pronation issues, it is the best running shoe currently on the market. But we're gonna be talking about the weatherized version today, uh, what they've done to it and how it works and what it feels like and all that kind of stuff. So we better get stuck in. Okay, people, so here it is, Run Shield, and what have they done to it? Apart from making it look awesome, um, and I don't think they could get any more colours on it, uh, they basically uh, weatherised it with a coating and, and some other stuff, and we'll come on to that in a sec. I just want to show you the differences between the two. So this is uh, Endorphin Speed 2 with a mesh upper, and this is the uh, weatherised version with the sort of coated upper, and we'll come on to that. But... Still below, we've got the um, Power Run PP. So I'm looking on the back. <laughs> Power Run PP uh, midsole compound. So they, they stay the same. The outsoles are still the same. Um, there's no differences there. So on sort of this part down, it's exactly the same shoe. Still got the soppy pull tab on the back, which makes no sense, but there you go. We do love a pull tab. Okay, right. So yeah, let's get into those stats and features and tell you what they've done to this weatherized version. Okay, so firstly, price is $180. I'm gonna do dollars today for all my US subscribers. Thank you very much, so $180. Um, and weight-wise, let's go weight. Yeah, Mrs. 40 Scouts are in the house. They are 8.15 ounces, people. Uh, I'll let you work out the grams because I simply don't have time. Compare that to the Pegasus 38 Shield. 11.55 ounces, although the 0.55 ounces is probably all the mud on them. Uh, to be fair to them, and the shield, um, the non-shield version or the non-weatherized version of the speed is 8.45 ounces. So to recap, 8.45 ounces, 8.2 ounces, people. So this is actually lighter. Work that out. Let me know in the comments how this is lighter than this. Be very interested to know. Uh, what else? So I said we got the Power Run PB midsole. In terms of the upper, let's go on to it. But I'm gonna have to get my phone for this because. I can never, here we go, I can never get exactly all the correct terminology. Right, here we go, you ready for this? Water resistant run shield upper has a thermal backing to keep you dry and warm moving through anything. That's all it says. It's got <laughs> speed roll technology we know about, uh, power run PB, which I've said about, and form fit. Uh, we've got a um, hint of reflectivity, great word, water resistant and a thermal layer. That's all it says about the upper. It doesn't say anything like the shield about some PF something free uh, coated upper or like Gore-Tex upper. 
That's all they say is the fact of the endorphin uh, run shield is weather, water resistant. That's it. But they don't say how. It is like, um, you know, like a raincoat material, but not like one of those cheap ones, but it's like a, a decent uh, waterproof coat. That's what it feels like, the upper, compared to like your normal mesh. And on the inside, this thermal lining, right, is so soft, it feels like, um, you know, a really nice blanket that you put over you in winter. Maybe you don't know because you're not old like Alan, but if you get like a really nice warm blanket that you'd put on you at winter, this is what the inside thermal layering's like. All around here, all around the heel counter, it is so soft and comfortable. It is beautiful how it feels. It's just, yeah, it's just like putting a, a really nice warm blanket on your foot. It still fits true to size uh, in, in fitting, it's no different. And performance wise, it feels just like a uh, endorphin speed, which is just incredible. So I think they've absolutely hit a home run here. I know this is not gonna to appeal to a lot of people because you might not want warmer feet, you might not want the, the weatherizeness and all this sort of stuff. But if you are looking for a winter running shoe, you've got to buy this. The only problem with this shoe, right, and there is one, is that the grip is gonna be, uh, what's the suspect. Um, you compare, now, apologies, right? As you can see, I've not cleaned these. But if you compare the outsole on this bad boy, right, which you can see is, you know, been caked in mud down the canal towpaths. But if you look at this, this is my only concern is the outsole on this shoe. But where I'm going to be using this is down the, uh, where I run in the Lee Valley along the paths. It doesn't actually get uh, in the winter that mucky down there. If I go down the rivers, I'm going to be in these. But if I stick to the, the Lee Valley where I'm going to be doing my mainstay of my marathon training during the winter, these are going to do me just fine. But I do have a little bit of concern about these. But you know what, if it's that rough and ready out there, I'm just gonna stick those on anyway. But yeah, to conclude, if you are looking for a winter specific running shoe, right, this is the way to go. You've gotta get yourself the weatherized version of the Speed 2. It's gonna do everything you want, especially if you've got like a half marathon or marathon in April and you need to train through the winter, especially here in the UK where it is wet and it is horrible then this is the way to go, people. I can't, I can't tell you how excited I am about this shoe. For me, it's just, it's just perfect. It's exactly what I needed to get me through winter marathon training. I just, just thank you so much, Stockany. I love you.